Venous thromboembolism, VTE, is common in patients who are in hospital and following discharge from hospital. It's very important to understand the risks. VTE, which encompasses deep vein thrombosis, DVT, a blood clot or clots in the veins of the legs and or pulmonary embolism, PE, a blood clot or blood clots in the blood vessels of the lungs, is characterized by several signs and symptoms. DVT most commonly causes leg pain and this can be the only symptom. PE most commonly presents with breathlessness or chest pain. Symptoms can appear in hospital or after going home and it's important to seek immediate medical attention. People may only experience one of these symptoms. How does being in hospital increase your risk of VTE? Being in hospital with a medical illness, when having an operation or when pregnant, all increase the risk of VTE. How can you reduce your risk when in hospital? You can reduce your risk by improving circulation, wiggle your toes and rotate your ankles for 10 seconds as often as possible and walk around if able, and staying hydrated unless you're told to reduce your fluid intake. You can also ask the team looking after you what they're doing to reduce your risk. If you or anyone in your immediate family have had a blood clot in the past, it's important to let your team know. Your team will assess your risk of developing VTE and, if required, will prescribe you a daily injection or tablet to help minimize your risk. For some patients, this is continued after you go home from hospital. Your team will let you know if you need this. You may also be advised to wear inflatable cuffs whilst in hospital to increase blood flow to your legs and heart. For more information, you can talk to your team whilst in hospital, otherwise your doctor, or visit NHS Choices online when at home. Call 111 for suspected DVT and 999 for suspected PE.